Welcome to the Money Manifestation Mastery Podcast with your host, Laura Waldman, where we talk all things money. Big money, big purpose, big power. Waking up your wealth for heart-centered business owners and entrepreneurs. In today's episode, we are going to speak about soul-infused manifestation, how to manifest, how to consciously create in alignment with your soul, the wisdom of your soul, the energy of the soul, your intelligence of your soul. Let's dive in. I connected to my soul consciously For the first time when I was 18 years old, I had a spiritual awakening. My eyes, my heart, my body was opened to a whole new perspective on life. And this did scare me when it first happened because I didn't understand it. But I was very curious and I knew there was something incredibly intelligent about what I was experiencing. And since then, I have been committed to following the wisdom of my soul, my intuition, my inner guidance system. I've been paying attention to this voice inside of me, this knowing inside of me, for over two decades now. And through a lot of lived experience and trial and error, I have learned how to create, how to manifest, how to lead your life guided by your soul's wisdom, and why this is a very powerful and effective way to live and create in your life. But soul-infused manifestation is not logical. Your logical brain, that linear part of thinking, is not going to understand what this is. Because your soul's wisdom and your soul's journey is beyond logic. It's beyond the mind. It's beyond the programming of your past. And so the challenge is learning to listen to this part of you, connect to this part of you, and trust this part of you. But it's an unusual point of view. But it's a way of living and creating in your life that is immensely powerful. What I've learned to do the hard way, the painful way, with a lot of failure, is to follow the wisdom of my soul through life's challenges, setbacks, pain, and problems, especially when I'm experiencing the opposite of what I want, especially when I've experienced lack, scarcity, and not enough, essentially the exact opposite of what I want. I've learned to listen to my soul's wisdom through these times, which helps me navigate through pain, problems, challenges, and setbacks in a conscious and mindful way. And what I've learned is every pain, every problem, every challenge, and every setback can be an opportunity for you, a gift for you, if you choose to work with it consciously and mindfully, if you choose to see it as a gift. Life happening for you rather than against you. But this can be really challenging because we have a natural reaction against pain. We go into protection. We go into self-preservation. And when difficult things happen, it's normal to react against it. You go into fight or flight or freeze. Your body wants to protect itself to shut down, to hide. This is all very natural and normal, but it's not how to step into manifestation mastery. Manifestation mastery, soul-infused manifestation, is a path of doing things differently. But again, this can be very confusing on a mind level. It's very confusing on a logic level. And... It's counterculture in terms of how we think about things, what we believe to be true or not true. But I've learned that by listening to my soul, 
while holding my wounded parts, my traumatized parts, the parts of me that live in lack, scarcity, and not enough, I've learned how to take action forward. I've learned to bridge the gap between where I am now and where I really want to be. Through the guidance of my soul, I've learned how to heal my past, transform my trauma patterns, rewire my thinking, rewire very old, outdated patterns, programs, behaviors, beliefs, habits, one step at a time. Soul-infused manifestation is a conscious practice. It's not going to happen without your conscious participation. Yes, if you are living out of alignment with your soul's purpose, life will tell you. And the pressure will keep building. The pain and problems and challenges will keep building. The intensity will keep increasing until you listen. But actively co-creating with your soul requires your conscious participation. And this is a practice. It is a daily practice and a daily choice of where you choose to live from. And if you don't actively choose it, you will naturally go into reactive, default habits, behaviors, and ways of doing things. But there is so much power in this process. And this is where this work starts to feel like magic. We step into the mystery of life beyond the logic, beyond what we can see and perceive. We go deeper into a very rich, deep body of work that is a way of hacking the system, not just the external systems, but your internal system. We want to hack your internal system and help you to rewire your whole nervous system, your ways of thinking, your ways of behaving, your perception of reality to be in alignment with what you want and not against it. So here's the practice. When you want to manifest something, when you want to create something, the practice is to infuse your soul's consciousness, the energy of your soul into that thing. How this happens is through the body. You manifest through your physical body. So we want to bring that soul's consciousness from above you and around you through the crown of your head and bring it down into every single cell in your body. And to infuse that soul's consciousness into any part of yourself that has been in separation with your soul, that has been in separation with source, that has been in separation from love. And in that separation, that part of you doesn't actually know how to receive. So this part will be living somewhere inside of your body, inside of your energetic system, inside of your nervous system, inside of your DNA. And we consciously take the wisdom of your soul and flood these parts of you with this light, with this consciousness, with this source energy. We infuse it with love. We infuse it with consciousness. We infuse it with the power of your presence. And we teach this part of you how to receive. And in the flooding of this soul infusion, you will be taken on a healing journey a transformation journey where you'll be letting go of the old to welcome in the new. And even though this sounds beautiful, and it is, when you finally surrender to your soul and let go and relax into life, it's a huge relief and it creates a big release because it takes so much energy to fight yourself. It takes so much energy to control and to contract and to hide and protect. It takes a lot of energy to uphold these wounded patterns. So when you finally surrender to your soul and let go and relax into life, there's a huge relief and release. But even though this is beautiful, there is a part of yourself that doesn't trust this part. 
that wants to uphold the old ways. This part of you is trying to protect yourself, keep yourself safe, but it's also all you've known. This part doesn't know what unconditional love is. This part doesn't know how to receive. This part only knows separation and has a very small and limited perception of reality. So what we're doing with soul-infused manifestation is we are flooding the parts of you that have been in the dark, that have not been allowing yourself to receive with this light and this love. But remember that this is about building a relationship of trust. This part of you needs to learn to trust in your soul's wisdom, in your heart's guidance, and understand the journey you're about to go on, which is a journey of letting go. You're asking your small self to let go of the patterns of protection that are designed to keep you safe. You're asking this part of you to drop their armor, to open up to receive, to be vulnerable, and to risk being hurt. And of course this part of you is not going to want to experience those things. The risk of opening, the risk of letting your guards down, the risk of receiving. And so this is the part that needs lots of holding, lots of care, as you're bringing that soul infusion into everything you want to manifest. So you need patience and compassion with yourself as you are rewiring to receive. So a fun exercise for soul-infused manifestation is to write down on a piece of paper the thing that you want to manifest. Put it on the ground and stand over it. And ask your soul to infuse your intention with its energy. You bring this through your body, all the way down through your body and out through the perineum, out through the base chakra, and flood your soul's energy through your body down onto your intention. The bridge between your inner world and your outer world happens through the perineum, through the base chakra. It's the birth canal. So we want to open to that soul-infused energy, allow it to come all the way through your body, through every single cell, and then open at the base and flood your intention with your energy. This is a full body, soul-infused manifestation practice. And then hold and breathe. We are flooding what you want with all of your energy. And at the same time, we're teaching your body to open into light. And we're holding space to release and let go of everything and anything that's in the way of that. So it's a very simple manifestation practice. It's a very powerful one, and it only needs to take a few moments or a few minutes. You want to bring the power of your presence, that soul-infused consciousness, into what it is that you want, and hold the space. Hold space for this process. Witness the part of yourself that contracts against it, and then keep breathing and relaxing and opening and flooding your intentions with this beautiful consciousness. Bring this practice into problems that you're having, pain that you're having, challenges that you're having, setbacks that you're having. If you're experiencing any kind of lack and scarcity, you can do this with your bank statement. You can do this with relationships. You can do this with your body, with health, with any area of your life. You're consciously feeding what it is that you want with your life force energy, with your consciousness and opening up into life to allow this manifestation process to happen through you and for you. And we're holding those parts, helping those parts to relax and feel safe that want to protect you, that create separation between yourself and what you want, that shut down and contract against the very thing that you want. That part of you will be strong. It needs to be held. So this is a fun, simple, and powerful exercise that you can do at any moment of any day. I recommend it as a daily practice. You can write down your intentions 
stand over it and flood your energy as I've suggested. But you can also do the same where you write down your intention on a piece of paper, slip it under your pillow and sleep with it and ask your soul to do the energetic work on your intentions while you sleep. You can hold the intention that you keep releasing, letting go of anything anywhere within you that's stopping you or blocking you from receiving your desired outcome and consciously creating your desired outcome. This is the part of yourself you need to keep working with. Now remember, life is going to bring you opportunities to heal, to transform, to release. And so we keep breathing into life, leaning into life, bringing that soul infusion into all of life. The stuff that you might judge to be good and the experiences that you might judge to be bad. And with Manifestation Mastery, we're actually releasing all judgment. We're releasing all separation. And we're opening up to receive all of life and allowing life to alchemize and transform through you, through your body, through your business, through your bank account. We're doing very deep transformational work, healing work, alchemy work with this process. And a reminder to play the long game with this work. Some things are ready to manifest now, but there's some things that you are working on that are going to take you time to build. Some things take time. Some things can happen very quickly. Your job is to simply show up, lean in, and listen. Show up, lean in, listen, let go, and do the work. And surrender the outcome. And slowly but surely with this manifestation mastery process, you're learning to allow your soul to infuse into every cell of your body. Allow your soul's consciousness to live through you. So it's a full bodied experience. Soul aligned living, heart aligned living, being fully connected and integrated with your beautiful body, this beautiful planet, each other, the universe. We are consciously creating an alignment with our heart, body, soul. And this is part of a very powerful journey. And I honor you for being brave and courageous to listen, to lean in, to let go, and to lead from your wealth, to lead from your soul's consciousness, to lead from this wise, wealthy part of you. It's going to help you bridge that gap between where you are now and where you want to be. Thank you for joining us for today's conversation, Soul Infused Manifestation. I would love to know what's landing for you. How are you going to welcome more of your soul energy into your body, into your business, into your bank account? Let's play. It's incredibly powerful. Let me know how you get on. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe or follow this podcast to never miss an episode. And I'll be with you again next time for another episode of the Money Manifestation Mastery podcast. See you then.